individual and collaborative behaviour, but an ant has a very small brain. So how come an ant does interesting things? An ant does interesting things because it lives in a complex world. So we should look at this behaviour more systemically and not simplistically as agent driven. There is no brain in these little robots but they can perform very interesting uh, tasks. <coughs> so for me, the ear is not an, an acoustical organ simply for my body, but becomes a publicly accessible, mobile acoustical organ for people in other places. So after six months, you have what's called tissue ingrowth and vascularization occurring. In other words, the ear now becomes fused to the arm and it has its own blood supply. You can have a, a closer look at this ear later in better light, but the ear now is a part of, of your arm. And in this uh, operation, we also inserted a small microphone. And um, as you'll see at the end, even with my arm wrapped with bandages, with a plaster cast, even with the surgeon wearing a face mask, he's speaking to my ear, the ear is picking up the sound and it's wirelessly transmitting it. So the idea of this uh, project is that after we have uh, surgically made this a more three-dimensional structure and use stem cells to grow a soft earlobe, we will reinsert the small microphone into the ear, connect it to a wireless transmitter so that in any Wi-Fi hotspot, the ear becomes internet enabled. So if you're here, you'll be able to listen to what my ear is, is, is hearing in London or Melbourne, wherever you are and wherever I am. Also, it can be a distributed Bluetooth system.